Firefighter hurt inside this fire in Grandview today. Firefighters are still on the scene. They're trying to figure out what caused the fire. Ariel Rothfeld is live at the apartment on Main Street with an update now. Well, right now, the state fire marshal's office is here trying to determine exactly what started this massive fire. Take a look. You can see people inside the building. That's where the fire started. And one of their biggest concerns right now is actually the structure of the building. The ceiling has already fallen in, and they've discovered several cracks in the wall. So right now, the fire marshal wants to just make sure all the investigators are safe inside. We do know the fire started in the front of the building just before 10 o'clock this morning. Video shows flames. 15 feet high and dark smoke billowing from the windows. When fire crews first arrived on scene, several people were trapped inside. Crews were able to rescue three adults. As they were looking for a fourth man, however, the ceiling collapsed, trapping several firefighters in its side. They found the second, the fourth man, excuse me, dead feet away from his front door. Our primary responsibility is to go in and get people out and don't worry about the building at that point. But uh, once our crews got trapped, then we had a different situation. Crews have not released the identity of that man. They're trying to notify his relatives. As for this building, we do know there were working smoke detectors. There were no sprinkler systems in place because I'm told the building was older than the code. Coming up tonight at 5 o'clock, we're going to tell you some heroic stories about people who actually went inside the burning building and helped those trapped inside. For now, Ariel Rothfield, back to you. All right, thanks, Ariel. Right now, one person.